want to talk about a debilitating disease that my guests tell me is much more common than Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and breast cancer combined. We're talking about macular degeneration, and perhaps it's something that you've heard about in the past. Today, we want to talk about it more, though, with Dr. Gary Morgan and Dr. Larry Holly with iHealthDoctors.com, and we're going to learn specifically what we can do to prevent it. It's nice to have you on the show. Thank, Thank you. you. So, Dr. Holly, let's start with you. How common is macular degeneration? It's very common, and it's becoming more so as the population ages. Age-related macular degeneration is an inherited disease, <clears throat> and it affects individuals 55 years and older in the United States. Um, one in five family members are going to get it. So, Dr. Morgan, what causes people, though, to get this, this AMD, as you call it? Well, in addition to genetics, a, a large factor, contributing factor, is exposure to high-energy ultraviolet light or sunlight. That's why it's important when we're outdoors that we wear good protective quality sunglasses. Um, to explain the disease process, I brought a short video along today that we can maybe take a look at. When you look into the eye, I think we're going to get a much right. better perspective so, of what so you're talking about. So as you look about. into the eye here, you'll see the macula, which is a pinpoint of tissue in our retina that is responsible for our sharp 2020 vision. Again, macular degeneration occurs when sunlight enters our eye and penetrates to the lower levels of the tissue represented by that blue line and it causes oxidation. Another oxidative process is rust. So you can kind of think of AMD as if the back of our eye were rusting. Now the way in which AMD affects our vision is at first our central vision may become a little bit wavy or blurred and eventually large patches of distortion will, will present that blocks our central vision. Later stages of the disease, people may also start to lose their color perception. Now fortunately, we have a built-in layer of protective pigment uh, represented by the yellow line there that blocks the effects of this oxidation. You can kind of think of this as our eye's internal rust proofing. And it's made of three components called carotenoids, and they are lutein, mesozeaxanthin, and zeaxanthin. And together they form this protective shield so that as sunlight enters our eye, this high energy light, it blocks the effects from getting to the lower levels of the tissue where it does its damage. Now, unfortunately, not all of us have a protective layer of macular pigment, or we don't have enough, especially those that have a light complexion. If you have light hair, light eyes, or light skin, you may not have a lot of macular pigment. And also, as we get older, we tend to lose this macular pigment. Now, the good news is, if we use a supplement containing all three of those carotenoids, over a period of time, we can rebuild this tissue so that it's back to, be, to a healthy level uh, to, to give us that protection that we need. Now currently on the market there's only one product called MacuHealth that contains all three carotenoids necessary to protect the tissue. And again, those components are lutein, mesozeaxanthin, and zeaxanthin. And that one in the middle there, the mesozeaxanthin, research is showing us is the strongest at blocking the blue light from causing its damage, and it's also the best antioxidant of the three. MacuHealth is a product that we recommend in our practices for protection. So when we talk about this MacuHealth, Dr. Holly, who should be taking it? Well, simply stated, everybody is at risk. How you define the risk uh, in those individuals are those that have a family history of it, a light complexion, or spend a lot of time outdoors in the sun, and they might want to think about taking it. UV light exposure will cause the damage within the tissue of the eye and possibly lead to the development of AMD. And so, really, in a word, it sounds like everybody could could benefit from this. Like you can't get enough sunscreen on your skin to protect your skin, so you can't exactly. get enough pigment very, to protect your eyes. Very good analogy. Okay, well let's talk a little bit about where we can, um, where we can get this. Uh, well, MacU Health, mm -hmm. we can get it either through our, our doctor's offices or from the company, uh, directly from the company. Um, if you go on our website, iHealthDoctors.com, it'll give your viewers the information they need to order the product. And I also want to lastly say, where are we getting this pigment from? Where does that come from? Well, um, the, the three carotenoids uh, are found in nature. Zeaxanthin and lutein we find in our diet. It's what gives vegetables and fruits their colors. Um, mesozeaxanthin is also dietary, but not in things we eat a lot of. It's found in the skin of trout and salmon, but usually we're going to leave the skin on our plate mm -hmm. and just eat the fish. It's found in shrimp shells, it's found in oysters, but really to get the level of carotenoid that we need to absorb into the macula, uh, we can't eat enough. We'd be talking pounds of food per day, so it's much easier to use a supplement. Okay, it's a lot easier also just to get online and find out from the manufacturer or from your website directly where we can get our own bottle of Mackey Health.
68 or visit iHealthDoctors.com to find out the location that is nearest you. And you can find out more information again online about Mac.